is Kristen from motherproof.com. I'm gonna give you some pointers on how to take a test drive. Once you've done some initial research online and narrowed down your choices, it's time to go to the dealership for a test drive. But don't take the kids with you the first time. You might be in for a really long day. Take the time to map out your own test route and drive the car the way that you normally would in your real life. Make sure that you're driving on the highway and on the suburban streets and check to see if the car is gonna fit in all the tight parking spaces at the places that you normally go. Once you've done your initial test drive solo and narrowed down your choices even more, it's time to take the kids along. Whatever you do, don't feed them chocolate or cheese puffs. <laughs> you don't need to leave a lasting impression at the dealership. It's important to bring your kids along on a test drive because they have a completely different perspective on cars than we adults do. Kids are gonna notice whether or not their seat belts are easy to buckle, if the car is easy for them to get in and out of, and which storage compartments are gonna be great to put their stuff in. After having a dealer point out a few key features, ask if you can take the car out on your own. This gives you the opportunity to speak candidly with your family about what you like, what you don't like, and what you might be able to live with or not in this test car. Remember that you're gonna be backing out of your driveway or garage every single morning. So you're gonna to wanna to put your test car in reverse and check to see if you're comfortable driving backwards. You're gonna to wanna to look for any blind spots or visibility issues and check to see if the car has a backup camera or backup sensors. One of the easiest things to overlook because it seems so obvious is how easy or difficult a car is to climb in or out of. You wanna make sure that you're not gonna hit your head on the door jam every time you climb in the car or your knees on the dashboard or the seat in front of you. And lastly, don't get lured in by that shiny new car and the new car smell. It's really easy to fall in love with the first car you climb in, but you don't wanna make a $30,000 mistake. You don't know what you're missing until you drive as many cars as possible. For more information on this and other topics, and to check out our car reviews, go to motherproof.com. Thanks for watching. Check motherproof.com for a printable test drive checklist.